Hi Tubes, it's uh, engine night at Road King's uh, garage tonight and uh, so far it's just me and Mike, he's over there at the lathe but he's working on uh, the radio he hasn't worked on this in probably two three months easy because uh, he was helping me out with my coil on this uh, the FH brakes here and he did a great job on that because he's got a really hot spark but but anyway besides besides the engine here it's the middle of the engine season and uh, just have a lot going on yep. so after three months he finally got back to this let me scoot over here and see what he's doing what are you gonna be working on now buddy well I'm making the uh, bearing carriers for the camshaft bearings which uh, each camshaft is going to have one of these small ball bearings on either end and uh, making aluminum holders they'll sit in so I've got to make six of them total uh, the bearings will be pressed right into the aluminum there and uh, some like uh, 1032's or 832 screws will actually hold these um, bearing carriers up against the end plates of the engine so okay. right now um, I had started making this piece here uh, whatever, three months ago or two months ago and a lot of stuff has happened since then so I'm just trying to get it put back in the lathe and have the, indi have the indicator on it to measure the run out you know so I can you know, th so I don't have to return this outer surface here make it even smaller so it's true with the bore you know so right now it's only got about oh I don't know uh, hardly a thousandth worth of run out right now. Can you see the needle? Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty much right there. I'll, maybe I'll give it a little tap and see if I can get it to zero, but it's pretty well straight right now. So I just got to run it. Going to run a three-quarter inch drill through here, and then use a boring bar to get a, a more precise fit uh, for the bearings. Okay. Right. Yes, uh, nothing going to be too much exciting, but it's it'll be something for you guys. I know you, all you guys uh, eagerly await one of these uh, radio videos, yeah. but this is, the, this is the stuff that uh, counts. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let Mike get back to this because he don't have much time. All right. And then uh, I'll check in on him every once in a while. All right, buddy. Uh, let's see how Mike's making out over here. What's going on, buddy? Nothing too, too amazing. Just uh, worn out a little bit of time to the final uh, diameter, maybe a thousandth or so smaller than the outer diameter of this uh, bearing. So you drilled it out now you're just honing it, huh? Yeah, this is boring bar. Let me get around here and look at it. A little bit at a time. Yeah. Did a nice job cutting that uh, bit there. No, no rush. Huh. Alright, continue on buddy. Alright. Alright. Mike didn't get much uh, done now. He uh, he was helping me with another project, got but uh, yeah, he got distracted. It's not tough to do around here. But anyway, he's he's still working on that. Is uh, what would you call that, Mike? Your bearing holders? Get a bearing carrier. The baby bearing carriers. So he's working on that, and he's got to get up tomorrow about uh, four in the morning, maybe three thirty even. Three thirty. Three thirty. They're gonna be the mini versions of these. Yeah. And it's eight o'clock, so he's he's got to get home. He's got an hour to get home. Yeah. And. Uh, what he's saying is the bearings are just going to be a mini version of this, what he has here. Right. So, uh, we just wanted to give you guys a little something, let you know we're not, we didn't give up on this thing. We just, uh, it's summertime and we've got a lot going on with the engine shows and the car shows and just uh, life in general. So, you know, right. this is just a hobby. So, that's just one of a hundred projects I've got going exactly. on. Exactly. It's funny, every time, every time we go to a show, we come back with uh, three or four more projects. Yep. And you know how that is, you always just want to dig into it and see what you can do with it. Matter of fact, one of the distractions was this fan right here. We just picked this up at our last show and Mike took it apart to oil it and clean it. And uh, it's a lot quieter, man. You know, it was, it was quiet before, but now you came here and run them, Mike. Yeah, and then, you know, it just, I can't, I can't get over it. That's on low, how much air these things move. It's so quiet. Yeah, let me shut them all. Let me show these guys with the pitches on this. This is, this is crazy. Oh. Two speed, you had it on low. Yeah. And it was kicking ass. We need to see the pitch on this. I'm gonna stick my finger in it, Mike. Ah! Look at that. They're almost they're almost 45. Almost, yeah, I was gonna say almost a 90 degree, but it's an easy 45. Wow, you, you did a nice job there. Look at that. Look at the way it's spinning. That's crazy. But anyway, you know, little stuff like that, you know, it takes takes an hour or so and it takes away from more time, but 
It's got to get done. Right. It's so, all, all it is is entertainment. We're doing this for our own entertainment. That's yeah. it. So that's it. That's our uh, our video of the radial engine. Let me give you guys a, a look at what it is. Look, it's buried with junk over here. But that's it. So uh, until next time, see you guys later.